Okay, we're back and uh, we're jumping right into the questions with uh, Tun Masaji here. Tun, you know, you're, like I said, you're the man in charge of Team Malaysia, so sports must play a very important role for you to be passionate about uh, enough to care about this team. So how important is sports to you? Because I think I read somewhere that your father played a big role in nurturing the sportiness mm. in you as a man. Well, sports uh, to me is most important vehicle for social cohesion. Social you know, cohesion. when you play uh, sports, you are subject to certain rules and disciplines and etiquette. Mm -hmm. So that builds a person, uh, a person's character. That's number one. And number two, in Malaysia, the importance of sport among the, et among the uh, plural society like Malaysia is all the more important. Uh, particularly when you represent a country, you don't think that you are a Malay or a Chinese or an Indian, but you're all Malaysian. Malaysian first, yeah. That's mm -hmm. number, uh, number two. And number three, of course, it's, uh, it can bring you national pride. You know, uh, just, uh, just like any other indicator, mm -hmm. winning medals and doing well in sports, you know, is a sense of national pride. For example, if you are world number one, like mm -hmm. Lee Chong Wei, so they would associate Malaysia with badminton, automatically. Course, yes. Uh, like uh, Dato Nickel, uh, since he's number one also in squash, squash, now they would equate Malaysia with squash. So, you know, you associate the, the person with the sport that he or she represents. Mm -hmm. And therefore, sports to me it can, uh, can heighten one's patriotism and also brings a sense of national pride. Mm. And that is why, for me, being uh, passionate from the, very, from the time that I was a schoolboy until today, that sports, in my view, is character building uh, mechanism. What are the sports that you are very passionate about? Well, I used to play hockey uh, in my school days, in my university days, I used to play football. Um, now I'm passionate about uh, lawn bowls, mm -hmm. you know, um, we are world number three after the world championship. We have produced world number one male, uh, Safwan Syed, and we have produced twice Commonwealth women's champion in the singles. Uh, we are number three after the world championship. Mm -hmm. And uh, I now concentrate also on golf. Of course, I'm golf. I'm chairman <laughs> of the golf pro professional golf of Malaysia which runs the professional golf tour now mm -hmm. and therefore the, the sports that I'm dealing with now sports are, re, are lawn bowls, uh, golf and cricket right, so I'm I president see. of the Malaysian Malays Cricket Association as well and these are sports that you yourself are actively involved uh, these in? these are sports that I used to play mm -hmm. in school and uh, when uh, I started service but lawn bowls is a, re a comparatively new sport for me. Right, I see. Okay. Uh, and, and if you look at this, this job that you've been given right now, Chef de Michon, uh, it is quite a departure from what you have previously done in all those years serving the public as a public servant. Uh, or is it a departure? What's your view? I think, the, I mean, um, this is a contribution to the, na to the, to the nation. Mm -hmm. Uh, all these sports organizations are what we call non-government organizations mm -hmm. and uh, it's all voluntarism, right? And uh, I, I don't do this for a fee. I don't get any, any remuneration for what I'm doing mm -hmm. in the, the three chosen sports that I manage. Lawn bowls, cricket, uh, lawn bowls, cricket and lawn bowls. Lawn bowls, cricket and golf. Mm -hmm. But then uh, the passion is there. And I feel that uh, giving back to society is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I'm giving is purely leadership. Mm -hmm. I don't have the financial means. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play the, the sports anymore except for a little bit of golf here and there. Right, I see. And in gist, tell us about the journey that you've had uh, in serving the public. I mean, from, from when you first started out, what, back in the early 60s, all the way up to when you, were be, uh, when you became the Ketua State of Senegara. So this is a very long journey filled with a lot of service to the people. Tell us about this journey. Well, it has been a long life, long journey for me in many respect, aspects of life. <coughs> I was a civil servant, civil servant from 1961 till 1996. Mm -hmm. Then from 1996, 
uh, my private sector career was launched up to this day and in between uh, during the in between I indulged myself engaged myself in sports organizations mm -hmm. and other NGOs as well like Badan Warisan Malaysia which seeks to conserve and protect uh, heritage buildings heritage yes I'm also the chairman of Yayasan Karyawan which uh, goes into uh, resuscitating the interest for classical Malay literature and of course in human in human field uh, president of the Yayasan Jantung Malaysia mm -hmm. uh, these are extra uh, what shall I say non-government organizations that I, I get myself engaged in mm -hmm. so I find that it is fulfilling and uh, uh, my little contribution to, to, to what drives you? I mean, in all the matters that you've mentioned earlier, it's all about the people, it's all about non-governmental organization. So it's very, um, it's selfless. It's people first. What drives you? Well, uh, I suppose in some people you have a charitable nature. Uh -huh. I don't know whether I'm that, but <laughs> I, I seem to be embroiled in most of these uh, activities which are of a charitable nature, not giving away funds, yeah. but providing the leadership. Mm -hmm. you see, providing so the service, the, yeah. the service and the leadership. Uh -huh. I suppose uh, I like giving rather than taking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, of all the gifts that you've given, which would you say is the uh, moment in your career that you're proudest of the most? Oh, I have got so many proud <laughs> moments in, in my career. Uh, having my first child <laughs> is, is a proud moment. Having, uh, you know, uh, thereby uh, proving my manhood. <laughs> that is the greatest gift from God. See, uh, Other than that, which comes my way, uh, reaching the top position in the civil service, heading companies, chairman of uh, non-government organizations, I suppose these are incident incidental in your life. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is uh, your, the trust in yourself, trust in people, right, and your duty to God. Now people God, family, nation, these are my priorities. Those are your priorities. Yeah. Well, with those priorities in mind, and people say that for every step that you take in your career, it is always a step up and a step up and a step up. You can only better yourself. You don't work to de detriment yourself, correct? So, in being the chef de mission, is this an yet another step up in your, uh, in your life? Yeah, I consider this appointment more as a trust. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether it is a step in my life because people will tend to evaluate the number of medals that the Malaysian contingent will bring. Now, if people judge me by that standard, mm -hmm. and if the Malaysian at least don't deliver, then they would attribute, <laughs> that, attribute the failure as my failure. It can work both ways, it you're saying. It can work both ways, but to me, it is a trust, and I will fulfill the trust. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, inshallah, it should best be okay. To the best of my ability. We've got fingers crossed, and we're saying inshallah. Okay, we have to go for another short break right now, but then when we come back, we want to see how we can go forward. So stay with us Thank on in person. You.